What's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II as a high quality 4K USB-C webcam for streaming, video calls, Zoom meetings, or pretty much anything else you need a high quality 4K webcam for. Now, overall, this is a pretty simple setup, but there are a few important things that you should know that I'll get into. But also, this is going to be a really quick video, so if it does help you out, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. And also check out some of my other ZV-E10 Mark II videos that I'll link down in the description. All right, so of course, the first thing you're going to need is a computer. Right here, I have my MacBook Air. Now, in order to get the full 4K output of this camera into your computer through a USB-C cable, whatever device you use has to accept a USB 3.2, which is just a really fast version of the USB-C connector. So pretty much any Mac device with a USB-C input is going to work fine for this. But if you have something that isn't a MacBook or a Mac device, you're going to just need to make sure it has a USB-C 3.2 input, which of course also means you're going to need a USB-C 3.2 cable, which I'll link down in the description. Now you can still use this as a webcam with any standard USB-C connection and cable, you just won't be able to get all the way up to that 4K video quality. It'll be limited to like 1080p or 720p. But of course, the last thing you're going to need is the ZV-E10 II with a lens. Now, I guess if you don't have one already, you do need a tripod as well or something to be able to get the camera in the right position. Now, this one I actually got on Amazon for $50 and I'm kind of surprised at how decent the quality is. Now, I wouldn't say it's good quality, but for $50, it actually gets the job done and especially for just setting this up as a webcam. So I'll link this cheap $50 tripod in the description if you want to check this out as well. But that's everything you're going to need need for this, so let's just go ahead and get this set up. All right, so first things first, got to jump into the settings of the ZV-E10 Mark II, and then we're going to go all the way down to this green menu right here, and then down to streaming. And right here, you can see USB streaming. We'll click on that. And then for the output resolution slash frame rate, we're going to select 4K 30p, which stands for 4K 30 FPS. And then movie record during streaming. Of course, if you want to record video to the SD card in the camera, as well as output to a computer, you can enable that. But I personally just keep that disabled. So now that that's all set up, we just need to plug in the USB-C 3.2 cable from the camera to your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once it's plugged in, there's going to be a pop-up on your camera where you can select what you want to use the USB for. And the top one right here is live stream, USB stream. And we're going to go ahead and select that one. And then lastly, you just need to set this up in your computer. So I have OBS open right here. And so I already have this camera added, but you can go ahead and just add a device through this or whatever software you're using for this, whether it's OBS, Zoom, WebEx, or whatever else you want to use. You pretty much just add the device into the software once this is plugged in. All right, there you go. So I can select the ZV-E10 Mark II right there. And then for the presets, I just go ahead and select 3840 by 2160, which is the full 4K resolution. And then we're up and running. So we can just go ahead and set this up on a tripod now and kind of get it in position for a webcam. Here we go, a 4K output directly from the ZV-E10 Mark II into my MacBook with just a USB-C cable. Hopefully this video helped you out. Like I said, there will be links to everything I talked about down in the description, as well as more videos I made on the ZV-E10 Mark II. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.